traveling. First to Grand Rapids, and then I don't know where else. Maybe nowhere. Maybe camping. Maybe see some old friends. Maybe see something new. <clears throat> but I need to get out. So, I have left. With no timeline. And I bought my tent. I brought my Steam Deck, my iPad, and I'm good to go. So here we go. some library I'm gonna try to do some work and then explore East Grand Rapids a bit there's a river behind the building so that should be nice pretty cold. It's also getting late. Let's head out. Okay, we're at Meyer, and I'm getting some stuff for camping. This is my first solo camping trip, so I have a list. Spices, check. Butter, check. Gear. Oh yeah. Tin foil. Oh crap, forgot that. Potato, onion, meat, utensils, tarp, s'mores, question mark, repellent, hand sanitizer, water, fire starter, lighter, fire starter. I think I have it all, but I'm in the camping aisle for anything miscellaneous I might need. Oh, that might be useful. Mosquito repellent, coil. Yeah, let's get one. It's only four bucks. Ten of them. Dang. There's this mini cooking set. Oh, it's literally just a pot. We are not at the best pace. It's already 11. It's about an hour drive. So I need to get gas, and I need to find a place to just sit and work for a few hours. Because I got work to do before camping. And then I'm gonna go there by 4 p.m., which means I gotta go to the grocery store again. Still, there's a lot to do. Gas. So yeah, I've been wanting to do a solo trip for a long time. Solo camping trip. And finally I'm doing it. Don't know why it takes like, an event to get me to do these things. I should just be more spontaneous because I don't, I don't need to stick to a schedule. But I fall into schedules and unfortunately sometimes it's bad schedules and bad routines. So it's good to just kind of actively choose to break it in a more productive way and something more memorable, which is what I hope today will be. I think it will be. Okay, stop one. Starbucks. All right, finished working for the day. And now I'm going to Meyer one more time, get some meat, and I'm gonna go camping. Time. <laughs> we are at Meyer one last time. This is like a weird sunken Meyer. Okay, let's get some beef. I missed like two exits on accident. 
but I'm almost here, about 10 minutes away. We are officially in what I like to refer to as the kind of like the sticks of Michigan. <laughs> I don't know why I'm referring it to it as that. It's just the back road, random, small homes. These are kind of nice, what the heck? They're like lakeside trailer homes. Yeah, we're just kind of in the back of Michigan. I don't really know what kind of people live around here, but um, my instinct says conservative. Let's not get political on this vlog. But yeah, I mean, if you just look at the town, it's kind of just small town vibes. Look, those kids are just walking there. There's definitely some sort of crime that happened here, which children are trying to solve for the summer. And I'm just going to be camping on one of these random fields, I think. Yeah, like over there or something. This is totally what I was picturing. <laughs> it's just like those long country roads in between highways. I definitely want to beat the sun before it sets. I'd say I have like maybe an hour or two. Look at that. That's quite beautiful. Some good sun. These roads are getting a little bit less maintained. To be clear, I am more excited than nervous. But is that because I'm being foolish? I don't know. Oh, this is nice. What the heck? There's a cul-de-sac there. Ah, uh, right here, right here. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Oh, camping, right there. Literally says camping. No service. Here we go. <laughs> I'm doing an Amish day. We are here. Where is here? I don't know. Here's my sight. Oh, there's bugs. Look at that. There's a hammock. Fire. That's where I'm cooking. Oh shit, that's it. Oh, there's more firewood there. Phew. Is that water? That's nice. Where can I camp? Maybe here? Well, I'm gonna get started. underneath it's not the neatest thing but I think it'll do the job and I put the blue side down because I figure that's supposed to face outward and be waterproof here is this line which I have hung my long sleeve on it started to get hot because the sun's pretty pretty warm and here's the floor mat doormat now let's go in <laughs> Uh, welcome. It's a bit small, aka perfect for me. And what I am basically most excited about beyond my cozy llama pillow is this. It's my Steam Deck, and I absolutely plan on playing later. So. He'll be right there. Ah. Look at this view. Isn't this beautiful? Like, wow. Now that we have camp set up, it's time for step two, which is a nice refreshing beer, as inspired by camping with Steve, Steve Wallace. So we have to do a stealth crack as quiet as possible.
that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So here we go. Belgian white, blue moon, pale ale. I don't know why I said pale ale. I don't think it is a pale ale, but I am ready. Got to say cheers. Cheers. That is great. Uh, you gotta see my view. Does this get any better? I don't, I would be hard pressed to say so. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to handheld mode. Um, I wonder where the uh, people are. I've been kind of waiting so I can you know, I can start cooking without being interrupted because I do not want to be interrupted once I start cooking. I told Pamela that I wanted to join the animal feed later where she feeds the animals, I guess. Because she also has eggs for me. I'm kind of in a limbo right now, but I guess I can give you a bit more of a tour. So here's a fire pit and it has a really cool mechanism. So simple. It's just this metal tab with a hole and it uses leverage, so release the tab, bring it up, pull the tab down, and then use leverage to lock it. So that's going to be really fun to cook on. And then we have string lights, which I cannot wait for. And I think you just turn it on here, maybe? Don't really know. Maybe she controls it. Oh, it's solar powered. It's on already. Oh my gosh. That's cool. <laughs> and then here's this hammock. Nice thing about hammocks is you can just clean them very easily. Unless someone shits on them, like that stain. But this looks very cozy. Let me try it. There's also this curious tree, which, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of spooky, jam-packed with branches. Oh yeah, I saw this sign, so I wanted to do a step two to site two. Step two to site two. <laughs> oh, I know what, this is perfect. This is why I bought this, so I bought something tied me over until dinner because I'm so hungry and I can't be going on an empty stomach with beer. So I got this Lunchables baby. Look at that. <laughs> Look at those kids. What are they doing? Why are there kids here? What? It does not look like it's for kids. It's like not fun. Except for I guess these kids doing dangerous activity, but this is not the fun Lunchables that I grew up with. Either way, I'm very hungry, so I'm very excited to have some. So let's cook it. Okay, so Pamela just dropped by, which is very nice. Dropped me off some eggs. Look at these. I think there's shit on them which is uh, expected from farm or something. That's, that's probably not poop, that's whatever. It's whatever comes with eggs, fresh eggs, but these will be great. So yeah, let me eat this Lunchables. Dude, this is literally just pita. Look at this. It is literally just pita bread and pepperoni and cheese, which I could have just purchased for a fraction of the price but the packaging is cute. And it's got a fun name. Ah, my hands clean? Not really. I have soap here. And there's some water right here. 
Look at that, it's a faucet. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Make the three of them all at once. There's such little cheese. Pepperoni. Wow. Lavish. This is camping. Camping experience. Solo camping food. <laughs> to Steve. Oh, what the heck. Here we go. Camping with JR. It's amazing. <laughs> I hate how good it is. Mm. What? Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So, what I think I'm gonna do is watercolor until chores. Then I'll join Pamela for chores. I'll record a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't mind. And then I'll come back here. Maybe they'll be done by eight, hopefully, so then I can cook. Um, it'll be dark by then, but I think it'll be, it'll be good. Only thing I'm a bit worried about is starting the fire because I don't have a fire starter. So I'll have to really just do it from scratch, but I have a lighter. That's really all I need. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> I'm really happy right now. It's weird. Like, <laughs> why am I so happy? It's a beautiful view. I love that hammock and the string lights. I'm in nature. I'm disconnected. There's good food. I have a beer. There's literally nothing that I could be complaining about in this very moment. And I'm feeling very present, very fulfilled. Very happy. Also, there's the bathroom way over there. So if I can avoid going to the bathroom, I think I will. Just because I don't really feel like going there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should prep the food now. Let's watercolor. I said I was gonna watercolor. Let's watercolor. <laughs> is now all over me. <laughs> it's okay, it's just putty. Like it's already coming off. I'm taking my hairs with me though. as I've gotten on this very strange painting. So I will carry on later, but I think I'm supposed to go to help with chores now. Leaving my stuff at site two and we shall walk down. Here's the little farmland. This is very cute. They're judging me. Oh, there's a cat. I think I am too early. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I'll just walk a bit. There's the entrance. Let's walk back. There's a lot of wood here. 
Whoa. Look at him. Whoa. So I have crossed Nigerian dwarf goats. Oh, is that the, the short little bitty one? one? The girl, yep, that's a gem. With Whoa. Angora goats. And Dusty is a heavy Nigora. Nigora? Is Nigora. That... It's a Nigerian dwarf Angora cross. Okay. And he's been bred, like he was, his mom was 50 50, and then he got bred back to another Angora. So he's oh. like three quarter Angora. Oh, okay. Sable back there, he's the shy one. The one with the droopy the white horns? One, yeah. Okay. Um, is it also an, a Nigerian he Angora is mix? He's an Angora. Okay. Oh, he's so small. Yeah, she's so small, but she's the, she's the queen. She's the boss. Wow. It's hilarious. Their furs are so varied. Like, some are mm -hmm. more matted looking, and then some are kind of, like, short. Yeah. Is it, do you have to, like, cut their fur? These guys are about to be sheared. Okay. So, Bucci, um, Dusty, and Sable are about to be sheared. Okay. They're looking kind of mangy. But feel under here. Like, this is... Oh, yeah, that's a lot more soft. It's soft. He's wow. dirty. I'm just dirty. <laughs> Just put a handful in. Keep your hand closed. Dusty is a little... <laughs> okay, keep my hand closed. Yep, and then you... you Dusty! Oh my gosh, you're going to hurt your mother. Ah. <laughs> they just kind of... They just kind of... So you keep it tight and let them nibble out of it. Uh, I see. No one will hurt you. I I'll get see. Dusty away so maybe you can meet okay. someone else. <laughs> Dusty's a pig. <laughs> Dusty, no. That's Jem. Jem? Yes. Okay. And she was raised. So the only two that were not born on the farm are Jim and Sid. Oh, really? So the rest of them? Everybody else is born oh. here. Egg collecting. Let's see. I don't see any. Oh, here we go. Wow, there's a lot. much seeds that's all that takes that's all they get wow and you okay. can see they're not starving no they're not <laughs> they look healthy it's uh, a little anti-intuitive yeah well it makes sense to keep the goats in yeah. but i do think that sheep are like cats and goats are like dogs time to dip yeah that was really cool <laughs> pamela is awesome I'm gonna give her a great review i love that but yeah I need to eat. I need to cook. I need to eat. And I need to wash my hands, dude. Very dirty. Oh my gosh. The string lights are up. Oh my gosh. I farted. These cozy string lights, dude. I think step one is fire because I want some light. Going out on this side. Keep going, come on. Ouch. Oh, I came unprepared. Woo, look at that. Fire is sort of starting. It's kind of chaotic, kind of cozy. But I have to start cooking, otherwise I will be fresh out of food. I have to keep <laughs> focusing on the fire because the fire keeps going out. But I think it's looking pretty good right now. That's gotta be good. Come on, look at that. I wish I had my food though. All right, <laughs> I really need to start cooking. Okay, we're gonna do this quick and fast. A lot of food, mushrooms. Bell pepper, salmon, butter, spices, salt, eggs, knife, onion, potato, ground beef, fire, string lights, hammock, tent. Wow, look at that fire. I did good. Whew, that was kind of a close call for a second. Wow, this is a sharp knife. So 
I don't know how other people cut bell peppers, but I've always done it like this. You like cut in from the top, maybe even from both sides, and then you pop it out like that, come in from the sides, stack them up, and then cut them loose in this way. This packet's gonna be huge. So we have this ground beef here. Oh, that's just going in. I think I should use my hand. Yeah. I didn't get any cheese because I've been having pretty bad stomach pain from cheese recently. Here we go, look at all that butter. Here we go, look at that. That looks freaking crazy. <laughs> excited for this. It looks so good. And I gotta toss it on the fire. I guess I should cook the salmon. I'm a bit confused how this one works. What is that? Is this butter? Okay. I have to figure out how to flip that. This is slightly problematic. Ah, my eyes. Made another foil packet of just mushrooms and butter. Oh yeah, you hear that? Let's check the salmon. Okay, salmon is done. Okay, that means that's gotta be done. That's been on there for a long time. This is how I remove it, with my wet napkin. Wow, these are good too. Oh, they're just swimming in butter. Okay, now for the highlight of the meal. It does not look cooked. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty undone. Yeah, that would normally be burnt. God, I hope. Oh shit, that's so done. That looks so good. Wow. The potatoes done? They're crunchy. Dang it. Ah, I need to cook it longer. I can't not eat anymore. So hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Dude, the salmon. 10 out of 10. What? How is this one of the best salmons I've ever eaten? Oh my god. It's perfect. It's like perfectly cooked, even. It's drenched in butter and the seasoning. So good. <laughs> oh my God. Look at these mushrooms. Perfect. Mm. I don't want any crunch from those potatoes. You hear me, potatoes? No crunch. Okay, I'm calling it, because I want to move on with my night. Being squeezed really hard. <sighs> okay, that's done. That is so done. Look at that potato. This is of debatable worth and effort. I'm not even going to finish it all. It's just way too much food. But boy, it looks good. It's not even cooked. It's crunchy as fuck. This is like a 4 out of 10. That's raw. I'm gonna get the runs, cause that's raw. I wish I wasn't colorblind, god damn it. Yo, what what am I eating, man? Fuck. <laughs> okay, I said fuck it. And I split it into two packets. I have cleaned the table and packed the car. So after I try this, 
and if it's good or not, I'm ready to get cozy. Finally, it's done. Look at that potato. And it's not even gonna be that good. Watch. Overcooked beef, yum. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish this. Okay, I have fast forwarded a little bit and I'm in my tent now. I am very tired, not sleepy, but tired. So also very cold. So I'm going to cozy up and then whip out the steam deck so I can do a little bit of gaming tonight. So this is my sleeping just tonight. I have to come out really quick just because I have not looked at the stars yet. Can't see them, but they're really nice. <sighs> okay, back to gaming. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let me get out. Yeah, I slept all right. Um, it was a bit cold, but this sleeping bag is actually very good. My whole body was warm, except for my head, because my head was poking out. Um, but yeah, my eyes are a bit itchy. I don't know why, but let's check out the morning view. Nice. All right, I cleaned up a bit. Now I'm gonna make some breakfast. Look at this dude. He's huge, juicy. Breakfast, yum. Ugh. I'm a bit more awake, brushed my teeth and packed up a little bit, but there's still a lot of time in the day because I do want to watercolor and I do want to hang out with the animals. But right now, I'm going to cook some breakfast. I'm definitely not a survivalist. Okay, so while that's going, I'm gonna prepare some eggs. Look at that. Put her on. Those look very good. Make sure I don't puncture the seal. Oh fuck, I did. It's hot. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, that's done. That's done. Look at these eggs. They look so good. And then I do have a couple pieces of toast. <clears throat> look at that. Yum. Let's try the eggs. Oh, wow. Oh, it's creamy, a bit smoky from the fire, really well seasoned. Mushroom. Mmm. Dude, butter and mushrooms. Oh, this is so good. I'm just very pleased that it worked. You know, I, I came with no utensils and no pot and pan. Oh, this fire is like all up in me. I need to move. I'm out of the fire. It was blowing smoke into me. That looks so good. Oh shit. Wow. This is maybe like top five camping meals I've ever had. And the onions, dude. They had a very good, like a grounding element. Look at this. It's a bit much, but it's so good and the smokiness from the fire. 
10 out of 10. The only thing that could make this better is if I had coffee, but it's okay. I'll get some on the way out. Oh man. <clears throat> okay, I just heard a voice behind me and that scared the shit out of me. But I think it was also just the fire. So, obviously there's no one here. But it was like a, whoop. Like it sounded like that, just like right behind me. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was just like a fire sparking. But I, I do have to say that last night when I was here in the dark alone, particularly when I was out here cooking, I felt very unnerved. And I did not want to say it on camera, but I felt like just so vulnerable. Like there could be something out there. And I was getting these like visions of like, like fucking Slender Man. <laughs> I don't know why, but just, it was creepy, very creepy. And even if it was like, I, I don't know, I have obviously, I, I have like a really weird dark imagination from my dark drawings and stuff, but I was imagining like these really tall creatures just like kind of perched behind my tent and like in the hammock, like sitting in the hammock <clears throat> or just like around the fire. And I might just have to draw these to get them out of my head because it was, it was pretty spooky and I just didn't want to say it because I didn't want to scare myself. But now that it's daytime, I can say it. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna continue cleaning. Okay, done packing. Cover needs to dry because I don't want it to get moldy. So and I think I'm going to finish my watercolor painting, maybe sketch one more drawing and then go over with the animals and hang out. I had a dream I peeled this last night and it tore the edges. So I'm going to be extra careful. Well, this is going very poorly already. Look at that. <laughs> I've started a new sketch. It is of me camping and I'm going to try to see how quickly I can get some shapes out because it's 11 and I do want to start heading out soon. That's my sketch. I don't know why my face is like that, but I guess I, I kind of like it. I was kind of worried about going on a trip alone just because I prefer company, but it's actually really relaxing and comfortable, surprisingly comfortable with just hanging out by myself. I can go at my own pace, eat my own foods. Of course, I would like it more probably if I had a good friend, but for right now, I can only think of like Chris, who I'd want to do this with. Um, if it were just a one-on-one -on -one situation, Chris or Russell. But by myself, I like my own company. Would I do this again? Absolutely. Look, it's the animals. I'm gonna say hey. Hello, chickens. Oh, oh, hello. I did a bit of journaling and I'm a bit tired now. I'm gonna leave. I'm ready to reconnect to society. One more thing before we go. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh! Yo, this is cute. Pee outside. Open your business. Do the lid. Cover the sawdust. Close the lid. I was about ready to leave. And then I was just messing with the fire when I saw this bucket, which says fire starter kit. And it's filled with literally everything I would have needed. 
including a saw and a freaking lighter. That's okay. I did it without. <laughs> Just used a lot of paper towel. <laughs> it was a good trip, good camping trip, and I'm pretty excited for the drive back and for a coffee. small coffee, two cream, two sugar, this and this is perfect.